What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And of course today we got the Modern Warfare reveal. If you did not get to see it yourself, you definitely can check it out on Twitch. They showed a multiplayer trailer and talked about all the things kind of uh, going with multiplayer and what we can expect from the game. So if you have not seen it, you can go on Twitch and go to Call of Duty's uh, Twitch channel and definitely watch some of their past uh, you know, posts. They'll repost that of course from today. The trailer was very good of course you know with those normal call of duty trailers you know very kind of hyped up trailer but there were some interesting things that were talked about i'm going to let you know all of the stuff that was mentioned i'm not going to go into great detail about every single thing i will have some other videos about some of this stuff like in detail later on but of course the one thing that a lot of people knew about there's going to be no mini map there will be a compass there instead i find it kind of interesting that there are suppressors in game i understand maybe i guess when people use uavs of course you know then you can see a mini map, so maybe that's what the suppressor is there for. But for the majority of the time, I'm not quite sure why suppressors are there with no uh, mini map. But that is kind of interesting, or something kind of different for Call of Duty not to have a mini map. Of course, there will be kill streaks coming back to the game, not score streaks. There will be cross play available, so you can play uh, with any platform, no matter what platform that you are on. They did not really detail if you can play like kind of like Fortnite with just console, or you know, if you want to play with. Maybe just PS4 and PC. They didn't realize. They, they didn't really talk about uh, exactly what or how that is, was going to work. You know, very specifically. That is, that there will be cross-platform play available, and that cross-platform play will be available during the beta, which they did announce as well, which is September the 12th. It says open beta, but from what I understood from everything, you do need to pre-order the game to be able to play that beta. Of course, the release date is October the 25th. You will have a gunsmith where you can kit all of your weapons to fit your playstyle. Apply five attachments to any weapon. There will be 30 to 60 attachments for each weapon. There will be no pick 10 system anymore. Uh, guns will be flexible. You can change barrels and things to like take an AK and make it an AK 74U. So you can design these weapons different to make different weapons out of each individual gun. There will be no season pass. The content will be free for everyone throughout different seasons. Uh, this we will have a single player and of course a co-op mode. They did the new race tracing uh, engine or the race tracing within this engine. So the graphics look very good from what they were showcasing of uh, people playing there, of course, at the uh, uh, reveal event. There will be, of course, this will be boots on the ground and no specialists, which is another thing a lot of people were looking forward to, especially me. I'm not a big fan of specialists at all. Also, they will have realistic environments for these maps. They said they went out and took real photos of things that they wanted to have in game, whether it be burnt cars, debris, or whatever, and then applied that to the game within this new engine. They will have classic weapons along with weapons that are being used by the military today. So you're going to have weapons from old Modern Warfare games plus new weapons that are being used today. I saw things like the M16 and everything you would expect in a Call of Duty game uh, kind of being shown off in this gameplay. AKs, all of that great stuff. You know, the guns that a lot of people really love that played Call of Duty. Also, another thing they're doing is a unified progression system. They said they wanted all the guns to feel and act the same no matter what you're playing. So, if you're playing the campaign, the weapon progression for the weapon that you're using during the campaign will carry over to multiplayer, co-op, whatever you want to use it in. So, you'll be able to unlock the attachments and things through this system. They said the attachment unlock will be a lot quicker because there's more attachments, of course, in-game. They will have weapon perks, which did seem kind of interesting, but of course there will be no normal perks there as well, just kind of the old three perk system. Uh, they will have lethal and tacticals available. Also, there are some big kill streaks like tanks, and there's a very large tank that you can uh, use. They said that one big tank is only available on some larger maps. Of course, if you have that selected and that is one of your kill streaks and you're on a smaller map, it will select something a little bit smaller for you to use instead of that one large tank. Of course, headquarters is going to be returning today as well. You'll be able to lean and peek kind of around corners and also mount your gun on top of, you know, flat surfaces. You will have on the fly modifications for your weapons in game. You can modify your weapon once you die and respawn, that weapon will be re or be modified the next time you respawn up, which is something I've always wanted in Call of Duty and I really like that they have done within this game. They also have a thing called kind of like field upgrades, which are offensive and defensive gadgets, things like trophy systems and whatnot that you can get through or get through progression throughout the game, which was kind of a neat uh, way of doing that as well. And there will also be normal health regen in this game, kind of like old Call of Duty games. I saw no self kind of heal idea in there. Pretty much when everybody was playing, they were just fighting and your health was regening like it used to. So you cannot self heal in this game. This game's kind of gone back to the Call of Duty or more like the Modern Warfare roots. 
Uh, it's definitely designed like all the older Modern Warfare games, but it does look very good. So if you have not checked that out, guys, definitely check out uh, that Call of Duty page. I will link it down in the description below. If you have not seen it, you can go back and watch that, of course, from earlier today. And like I said, the graphics look very good. The game looks very promising so far. Hopefully, when we get our hands on the beta in September, we'll know a little bit more about it and get to see a, a little bit more about the game and kind of get the feel of it. I know the cross-platform play is a big question for a lot of people because they don't want to be playing against keyboard and mouse. I'm hoping there will be an option where you can just play against console players. So if you play on PS4 or Xbox, you can just play against or select the option just to play against the other platform because I'm sure that's going to be an issue. And also the issue with uh, the no mini map. I'm sure some people are not going to be happy with that, but it's just a thing that I think everybody wants to get used to. won't be that big of a deal. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about the modern warfare reveal. Do you, are you looking forward to it? There's some really cool additions out there. And like I said, no season pass and all these details that I told you about here in the video. The game's looking pretty promising. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.